Hi everybody, welcome back to another drone tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing Giorno Giovanna from Giorgio's Bizarre Adventure. It's the most recent uh, release of the anime uh, main characters. So let's get stuck in. So we start with his eyes as usual, portrait. So we're going to go those big Jojo eyelashes right across the top. So we'll go up first here. And then we're going to bring this across. Like so. And then we can bring it down. Just here. And of course there's eyelashes all sticking off this. Real big ones. We can thicken up this line just a little bit, just to make it stand out a bit more, like so. And then this line comes down to a tear duct, back in and under, here, like so. And then we're going to do eyelashes and thicken it up as well. So we're going to bring this under. Nice big dark line. Lots of dark shadows on Jojo characters. And then the eyelashes of course stick off as well. So very cool drawing style on the Jojo characters, very unique. Uh, right, so his iris, just under here, so we're going to go a semicircle, just from that eyelid, up and under, like so. He's a pupil in here, just there, dark black, and we're not going to go the whole way around because there's a shine just here. It's like that, and then the shine is like just comes down here on that side of his eye and then there is some detail for the lines of his iris just here around the edge just some of those lines that come in like that then he has an eyelid line just coming across his eyelashes just here like so and then his eyebrows just above that, so it's going to curve up like this. And then down beside his eyelashes, just down here. And then the top of that comes up the other side. So, and then down into here. So now we can come over to the other eye. So you measure about an eye distance. They're in proportion in Jojo usually. So the distance between his eye is the length of his eye. So it's about here to here. And this eye will start the same way. So we'll come up. Bring it across, down this side, can thicken it up and add eyelashes. So those large eyelashes curving up and off the top. And then the bottom of his eye just here. Curves down and around. And then we thicken it up. 
and add eyelashes to it as well. So do take your time with this one. Jojo characters can be a bit tricky. They're a bit particular. So iris underneath there. Semicircle. Curves around like so. The pupil, dark black in there. And then the shine on this side as well. And then we have some of those lines for his iris coming up like this. And then we have his eyelid line just coming across his eyelashes here. down the side of them, like that, and then his eyebrow coming across that eyelid, so here, starts here, this comes across this eyelid here, down like so, and the next bit comes up and around here as well, same sort of shape, down to a point here. So anyway, he's a couple of frown lines just here coming up in the middle of his face. Some lines coming up here towards his hair. He's those brow lines that come out from his his eyebrows just here to kind of curve around just here. Same on this side, curve around just like so. And then some more sort of frown lines just here inside his nose, inside his eye as well. And then his nose, so his nose is gonna, we have a line coming down this way, and then another one coming down here, then they have those, that Jojo style sort of hatching along the top of the nose, so we have this, these lines that come up and down, curve along the nose just here, and then this comes down to his pointy triangular sort of nose that comes down here. down to a point there and then comes back up and there's a shadow underneath it so we'll fill this in dark black and we can just see uh, two nostrils like two shadows for his nostrils just here light dots something like that so then he has a shadow on this side of his face as well. You could of course leave the shadow off if you wanted, but these Giorgio characters tend to have things like this on them. So we're gonna do this shadow. So it comes in, in around his tear duct, down past his bottom eyelid, and then gets a bit thicker down here and joins up with the side of his nose just here like that and then it's dark black all in here like this and this shadow sort of continues up towards his hair so I'm going to bring it up like this it's kind of a zigzag sort of line up towards his hair about here. His hair is a curved line just here. 
and then this shadow is underneath it, just here. Maybe some hatching. Like so. All right, so now we can go down and do his mouth. So just underneath that shadow for his nose, we have his top lip. So we have a V. And then the sides of that mouth come down like so. This comes down like that as well. Then we have the middle line. So this comes across like that as well. This comes down like so back up the other side and then back down around to the edge of his mouth and there might be some various lines just to show his lip just there and then his bottom lip is just underneath that so just just here And then there's a shadow just down here as well. Like so. So very serious looking character. Then so his chin. So just down here, curve it around. Come up to his jaw. His jaw is just here. And then these go up the side of his face then. Up towards his hair. Stops just at the top of his eyebrow there. We can do the same on the other side. So we'll bring this line up to his jaw. Here. And then up the side of his face, like that. So just a few more little details now on his face and then we can move on to his hair. So he has lines that come down the side of his face just here those sort of Jojo style lines that sort of define their face a little bit more. One there, some sort of down here. Like so. Just adding some more details just around his nose here. Some more of that shadow, making this a bit darker here as well. So then, his, his hair, so, so his hair, we have his ears and his hair. So we can do his ears first, I guess. Might make things easier. He has sideburns just here. And then his ear comes down and around, back into there. And then he has lines for bones and ligaments all in there. And an earring is an earring, of course. Uh, some lines like so. Maybe dark inside some of them. Something like this. And same on the other side. Hair here, sideburn, ear comes out from that. Uh, 
and then the lines inside. Curving up like so. And then the curve line there, top of that ear, line coming down, dark part inside maybe. You could do ears lots of different ways. Once you get the general idea, people will get it. Now, so, his hair, right, so, he's got these short spikes that go up and around his head and then these round circles that are in here. So, we'll do the spikes first, they're easier. So we'll do this spike there, and the spike here. Start to travel up, spike in, to a spike here. Another spike there, like so. And then spiking here, jaggedy short spikes on this character, very short. Like this. Coming across like so. starts to come down the other side. Down in towards his ear then. Like this. And then these uh, f circles that uh, define the fringe of Giorno. So he has these sideburn that comes up here sideburn that comes up here and then these touch those circles so let me see if i can so like so one bump line like that the next one comes down here and there's a little bit sticking off so there's like a spike here it's like that and then this comes up like so the next one goes up underneath like that And then we have a main circle around one in here. That's dark black inside. And then there's some lines that you show it's kind of circular around it. So we have, they're not like fully complete lines that go the whole way around. They just sort of follow the shape. They don't touch. They sort of go around kind of like that, kind of spiraling around. Like so. Come up here. And then we have some that come up towards the middle of his head. So, coming up from this, we're gonna go up now that way. And then this one travels up this way. And then we have another one beside it, just here. Another one this side. Some more maybe that come across. Some more hairlines. Short, short sort of hairlines to show texture. Like so. 
and then this one has a circle inside here. It's facing this way, so it's a thinner circle. It's not. It's like an oval. And then we have lines that come out and around from that as well. Like this. And then this comes up the side of it. Like so. Another one. This one, bump line here, and there. Another one there. And then he has just some lines on his hair on this side as well. Just spiking lines, hair lines, texture, thick and thin. Small, large, lots of different sort of. Like this. Then we go over and do the last one. So he has that circle inside. Again. And then some lines coming out of it. So, and then there's a sideline here, some lines going around, there's a top circle line just here, and then some lines that go up that way. Just trying to give it some texture. Right here, and there, and across, and down, more hairlines there, here, there. And then coming in from the side as well. Lots of detail in these JoJo characters. Coming down here, coming down there. Do, do. Let's see. Apparently there. Okay, he's just got a shadow then underneath all of this. So it's just, you draw in, you follow the shape. Curve it underneath, dark shadow. It's all black. And then just some lines just for his brow just here. And some hatching on the side for that. Same over here. Maybe some hatching lines just in here too. Something like that. His ponytail then sticks off from behind his ear just here. So we have a line down, like so, a line up that, and it comes back, down, around, don't worry if it's not exactly like mine, I'm sure his ponytail moves and stuff, so once you get the general shape, I'm sure you'll be fine, down under, and then there's some sort of hairlines, shadow just in here close to his face, 
a line coming up here, a line down here, wrapping up underneath there. And then there's an inside shadow part just here. There too. Hair lines, texture lines, like so. Okay, now so we can move down to his neck and his some of his clothes. So his collar goes down around his neck. So so we start. So about here, so we'll bring it down, and around it comes in close to his chin, into here, down, to there. Now this line meets uh, the rim of his collar, so it's going to become like an edge just here. And then this is going to come back in for that love heart shape that he has, that gap. So it comes across, then it's going to curve around like this, down and off the page just down here. Right, so then the edge of this. We have a rim to it, another edge, comes down, like so. Comes around. And there's a little detail there. This comes around then for that golden wing that's on the edge of his collar. So it's going to come up and under. There's three bumps on the side. Remember if I go too fast, just hit pause. And then that wing in there, so he's got like a little sort of spiral inside, comes around like so, like this, and then comes up to about here, comes down, down, like that, and just some little lines for details just there. And then his shoulder is going to go off this side of the page here. Bending, curving lines for bumps for clothes. A line coming down here. Towards his chest. So his arm there, his arm sticking out that way. Chest is here. This curves down that and there's all shadow just all in here and the outer edge of his love heart then just here comes all the way down like so and on that has sort of studs uh, pyramid like diamond sort of shapes lots of detail on this guy it's probably gonna be a long video sorry about that fair play to anyone who's got this far it's not it's a challenging one I know just these sort of lumps that kind of stick up off it Here. 
keep going. Keep going. So all the way down, similar sort of pattern, all the way down. Right, so then uh, his collar on the other side, so he's holding he's holding him with his hand on the other side. So we'll do halfway to his hand and then do the rest and then we'll deal with all his anatomy inside there. So curve it around for the collar like there. Bring it down to here. It meets this golden part. Like this, bumps out, and then the opposite side, following that shape again, and then we have the other side here, comes down towards his hand, and we can see some of this wing, this golden wing, and the top of that golden edge with the pyramids on it as well. Like that. And in there then we have that. Some lumps and bumps like so. And down there. And down there. There. And there's dark shadow here. Forgive me now for going so fast, but you can hit pause I just don't want to run out of time. And then his hand, right, so his hand, we've got four knuckles just here grabbing onto this part of the love heart on the other side. So we've got a knuckle here, two, like so. Another one coming down here. And then his little finger down there. So they gradually kind of go more in. Then the little finger will come under here top finger then comes across then this top finger comes down and up towards the back of his hand and his thumb knuckle is just there and then his thumb comes up to right to this touches this shadow here like so and then this will come down to his sleeve which is here, curves around like so, and then comes off my page like that. And then there's a bit of a bit of a shadow there. And then this comes back under towards his little finger just here. Then there's some lines for knuckles just inside. So we have some lines here, some lines for his bones on his hand that, that's his index one, line for his knuckle there, some lines, dashes that define some of his knuckles here, some other little lines and dashes there, on his thumb, top of his fingers here as well, I'll do all these first, there, down here, and then some V lines just here for his knuckles, coming in here maybe, and then a line for the inside of his finger, here too, here, some more knuckle lines, then for his hand, another knuckle, little finger line just there, knuckle, V, and then just here on the side of his hand, like so. And some more going under his sleeve. Kind of like that.
Here's it in his shoulder on this side. It's going to bump the lines, go up off to his shoulder pad on this side, and then this curves down. Like so, and there's like a shadow here. And then there is some clothes lines and some shadow lines in here. Just adding some line weights. that and then his clothes sort of underneath just here so we have that love heart being pulled this way so his little finger has it there and it's gonna go across like that and then those studs those pyramids are sticking up so we have these zigzag line all the way off the bottom of the page. Then we have the purple section. And then more of his clothes there. And then some shadows down here. I know sometimes the camera cuts off the bottom of this, so sorry if you can't see this, but it's just clothing. Then the bottom of his wrist, and there's a shadow in there, and some lines just there. And he has those scarabs that are on just on the bottom, they're like these little circles, just on the sides of his costume here. And then there's a dark shadow underneath where his armpit is, just down in here. thing about drawing Jojo characters they always take so long because of all the the detail and the shadows and detail on the face and everything respect to anyone who got this far I'm struggling myself I'm getting quite tired <laughs> talking and drawing it's hard it's not easy I'm burning calories here Talking to myself, stop. Okay, so neck muscles, chest muscles, collarbones. So we have a neck muscle coming down here. Like so. The collarbone line then comes up towards the corner here. And then there's a bit of a dark shadow in here. And then a light line for a muscle here. And then with some lines coming down out of it. I do like this style of drawing though. Another line coming up there. And then his trapezius. Just, oh wait, that was here. Yeah, so this is his trapezius. Just there and then this muscle line is there yep. and then dark shadow back here and with the shadows so many it look good though okay uh, more neck muscles here go speed up go faster Some hatching, just coming down this side, in there. Uh, another one for where is Adam Adam's apple is just here with some hatching underneath, just like here. And then there's a shadow under his chin, just coming down all here. Under the other side, 
and down in here too. And a line just on his chin here, I just noticed, just on the bottom, just like that. <clears throat> I think my voice is going. Uh, right, so his collarbone comes down along here. And then we go back underneath this side. And then there's a dark shadow just here. And then we have the underneath of that collarbone. So it's just kind of lightly hatched in. And then we go down for his chest just here. And then a little bit of collarbone here, lightly drawn in. Just there. And then the beginning of his abdomen, just down here. And then there's some hatching lines just for the bottom of that chest. Like so, going across more square there. Coming out the other side. And that's, there's a scarab down here as well. At least I think they're scarabs. They're just kind of jewels that are on the side of his costume just here. And then just adding shadows to this side of his costume, just to his clothing down here. Um, so dark shadow all here. Just showing some folds on his clothes. This direction. This is all dark. There. Nearly there. Then this comes down underneath. We have more. We have more. Lines for clothes there. This comes up under. Along here. And I think we're done. Hallelujah. <laughs> Giorno Giovanna. From Giorgio's Bizarre Adventure. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.